All right, so here's what we got. I've been thinking about how I can get these guns to fire better. First thing I wanted to try before I crack into the back, because I'm going to have to drill out the lock uh, to mess with the settings on the CRT itself, is I need to try to degauss the CRT. I've never done this before, but basically what happens is that as this moves around, different uh, factors from the environment, etc., potentially this beam can start to deposit charge on the screen. What I'm going to do in the degaussing process is basically apply a, another magnetic field to try to scramble it all up again and uh, remove whatever the built-up charge is on it. Now, I don't have a degaussing wand. This doesn't work. I've never done this before, so see it for the first time. Uh, you can get a degaussing coil, which is a circle that's going to put off a magnetic field. runs off 110 AC, so it's throwing this uh, alternating current and you move it across it, and you'll see the screen do a whole bunch of crazy looking things because it's changing how the CRT is passing the, uh, passing the electrons to uh, excite the screen. So, what I'm gonna do instead is try to use this drill. It cannot be a cordless drill. It needs to plug into the wall because it's got a, uh, an AC motor in it. Cordless drills can have a DC motor in it. It's not gonna give you the effect. So, let's just see if this works at all. The screen looks fine to me, but again, I don't know what I'm really looking at. So, all right. Well, uh, so the videos I've seen of an actual degaussing wand, it uh, has a much greater effect. But I can certainly see it was messing with it. So, I don't know. Let's pick it a shot. Uh, still can't hit the upper left. Okay, and just for reference, because I know actually a soldering gun, not a little soldering iron, but a soldering gun will work because it's giving off that same AC current. I figured I might try it with a heat gun with uh, just basically no heat on it. Uh, nope. <laughs> I keep looking for other shit to try. Okay, so here's, here's what we're going to try. I'm going to try to drill the lock out because I have already tried with these picks. Not that these are the right picks. Paper clip would probably work better. But I can't pick the lock and I don't have the patience for it. So I'm going to drill it out. And uh, according to my YouTube research and forums research, I'm going to be using quarter inch bit. And uh, these are all the things that I should need. Just a drill, cordless drill with a quarter inch bit. Turn the torque way up so it doesn't bind. Put a little bit of a tab magic on it because this stuff's awesome. And I should get a, be able to get it to spin once I destroy the pin tumbler mechanism inside of it with a screwdriver. And then add bush, bush light because it's important. So this is the lock here. Uh, this little, little lock on the back. I don't know if this is what you call a bullet lock, but that's what I'd call it. I might be totally wrong on that. I've never drilled a lock before, so this could go really, really poorly, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. And uh, let's see. So I've got my quarter inch bit. I'm going to go right through the center. What I'm trying to do is destroy the tumbler mechanism so that it can spin freely. So it's probably going to take a little bit, but uh, go high speed, low pressure, and just try to go right through it. There's a, let's see here, can we get this? Worse than it was before. Come on. <laughs> Trying to widen the hole a little bit. Hey, look at that. That's why it's so damn easy to break into shit, motherfucker! Right, so I'm gonna walk you through what I'm seeing. Sorry about my flickering light. Alright, 
on the top of this board here there are five dials that I'm not going to touch because I can't really tell what they are. However, this looks like what I'm actually supposed to adjust for uh, the monitor adjustments. So this looks like my main board. On the bottom there's a power supply and there's a big ass bunch of wires with a bunch of just non-connected ends. Everything works so I'm going to leave them. But uh, so I can't really read what those are. So what I did is I took a little picture with my phone, and uh, what I can tell is that let's see here. We'll do this. No, we're gonna do that anyway. There is a contrast, brightness, and height. Those are the top three. All right, and then the other ones are vertical width, vertical height, uh, horizontal width, horizontal height. So I'm gonna start messing with. The brightness and contrast and seeing how that's actually going to affect the screen and see if I can get some better shots going if that doesn't do anything I'll I'll look into this but this appears to be something I don't want to touch unless I have to and also these CRT scare the shit out of me so I don't want to shock myself because I do that enough so one of the things I read is that you should have a friend around when you're messing around with the different settings. So what I'm going to start with is the uh, contrast and then the brightness to uh, see how it changes, how it looks. Because you can't see the screen as you're adjusting it from the back. Uh, but I got this idea from some other video I saw. And because I don't have friends, but I do have motorcycles. I got three in here and I got three inside. What I'm going to do is use this mirror. And this mirror is going to show me, because I'm going to be hiding back here, messing with this bullshit. So, I'm going to see if I can do it with a mirror, because I don't have friends. And, uh, well, I'm just going to start changing a couple things. Contrast is the first one I'm going to change, so quarter turn to the right. I got a bleeding edge over here, big time. All right, the contrast is a good bit down now. I don't see the bleeding edge anymore. This whole thing used to be bleeding over on this side. So that's good. Let's try turning the brightness up a quarter. I have no idea if that's gonna work. I wish I could, well, I could probably could figure it out with the test screen. Oh shit, actually, I should figure that out. Probably a good idea. All right, let me check. Um, all right, I hit the test switch. Got a gun menu, color test, crosshatch. Ah, it's making some nasty ass noise at me. All right, an IO test, sound test, m memorial test, memory test, optional setting, and reboot. Why is it making this racket? Anyway, let's, uh, let's, let's, press let's see what happens. Start button to choose. Press the gun trigger to enter. Okay. So I bet I want to go into... You know what I want to do? How do I reset all the fucking high scores? All right, I'll figure that out. All right, we're gonna go to this color test. Where should the colors go to? I mean, I, they all look pretty even to me. I don't know if I'm supposed to see that the whole way. I see it in person and here. Well, it looks different on the camera. Anyway, I see it end here. It ends here on all of them. All right, so now I got this. Let me turn the brightness up. Start button. What happens if I hit the cross hatch? Why not? This looks perfect. It really does. To my eyes, that looks perfect.
What's an I.O. test? That sounds like... Oof. I.O. test. Uh... Sounds like an on-off test. Do it. All right. Oh, we're going to check if all the buttons work. All right. Good idea. Uh, let's see. Start button. One. On. Start button two. Works. Coin trigger. Works on number two. Coin trigger works on number one. Shotgun trigger works on one. Shotgun pump works on number one. Shotgun pump on number two works. Shotgun trigger on number two works. All right, the I.O. test, we've passed. Press start and a gun trigger at the same time to exit. Okay, sound test, let's check. See what kind of racket this makes. Uh, press the start button to choose. Press the gun trigger to play. Let's try zero. That's the rifle. Bow. Okay, there's probably gonna be lots of sound. All right, well, we know those work. Memory test. Gonna run a mem test, see what our 3D Mark score is. Runs us at the start of everything. Every every time you boot the system up, it runs this memory test. All right, so the memory test we're good. Optional settings, yes, just make it work. High score, clear. Fuck yeah! High scores are gone. Gun adjust default. What is this? Yeah, why not? Let's figure it out. Gun data set to zero. Okay, fine. Reboot, we don't gotta do. What's the gun menu show us? Gun adjust, so I need to notice, let's see. It's shooting off just a little bit. Shoot the center mark to adjust. All right, so I gotta reboot, so. All right, now we're booting. <laughs> We're going to change the contrast a bit here. That was a lot of contrast change. Alright, that's way bright. What's your weapon choice? What about now? That's still too bright, but let's see if it hits. Shit, but I hit it on the first shot. What about the upper left? Holy shit, that's the first time I hit that area. All right, we're getting somewhere. All right, we're at full brightness, by the way. Let's see, let's let's see where this thing can actually shoot now. I can hit the upper left. What about the right side? Ah. Uh, got the whole screen! Yeah, baby! Sit the fuck down, bear! Come on! Told you. Still think I gotta degauss the thing, but uh, yeah, it's got these bleeding edges. So I gotta mess with the contrast a little more. I gotta bring it down. I'm still playing this credit out. That's I've never been able to shoot that far left. Ooh, we're getting somewhere. All right, let's try this. We're gonna turn the contrast down a little bit and see if I can still hit the side. All right, that was just a little bit. Oh, I still see bleeding all over. Still bleeding.
What do we got here? A couple crabs? Okay. What root would you I don't see bleeding. could not hit that top left before, so that's awesome. Hunter 2's gonna, he's gonna do this one. God damn, I still suck. Okay. But, but, this is really encouraging, because it looks like I can, I can get somewhere. All right, one more. Where should we be today? Fucking bear. I can't hit a damn thing if I'm recording. I can't do it anyway, but that's what I got. All right, I'm gonna keep going. 